hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well it's the long awaited condensed milk toffee or candy is going down in our kitchen today and that is because i was waiting for my beautiful niece Gigi. Gigi. that's the only thing Gigi wanted to make with me so i've been waiting for her and this young lady right here is a busy busy lady so today she's free so i get to enjoy her a little bit okay my niece is the ceo of cupcakes by Gigi. Yes, she makes her own cupcakes. I'm going to be leaving her Instagram handle in the description box and also on the screen so you can contact her if you're in the New Jersey area for your cupcake needs and she will blow your mind. No long talk. This is one of her cupcakes. She came to share it with the sweet team. So Gigi, what is this? This is a strawberry cupcake strawberry cupcakes we're just gonna taste it and i'll let you know if i like it or not she's been making it for a while now but this is my first time trying it and already it is super moist oh my goodness it is amazing so nice and moist mm. 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 don't say anything just reach out to this young lady and she will blow your mind it's so sweet so moist and my mom taught me not to talk with food in my mouth so i'll put it to the side and we'll get started with the recipe so today for the condensed milk candy gigi what do we have here condensed milk room temperature butter nutmeg and water yes so we'll let you know what we're going to be using the water for but these are the three main ingredients. You can use any flavor of your choice, but the authentic Ghana condensed milk toffee or candy, we use nutmeg. So let's get started. To our pan, I'll add in condensed milk. our nutmeg and our butter all right y'all once we've added all our ingredients we're going to turn our fire on to medium all right you don't want to make this on high because it'll quickly burn we all know how sweet condensed milk is and we're going to stir from beginning to end there is no stopping in the middle because once you do that it's going to begin to burn As you can see, it is beginning to bubble. It is nice and hot, so I don't want my baby girl to burn herself. So I take over from here because it is stirring all the way through. And this is quite liquidy right now. And if I leave it for her, it might burn her. And as you can see, I'm using a whisk because it's going to make it very nice, smooth, and silky and it is still on medium heat and if you notice i'm staring in a circular motion so i just go round and round and round and then i will clean the sides of the pan because whatever sticks to the side of the pan will cook quicker than what is in the pan whenever you have to walk away please put the fire off or put it to low completely when making condensed milk toffee there is no multitasking you cannot do it it burns very quickly so if you don't clean it into the rest it's going to brown and then burn and if it mixes in with your candy you will have freckles in your candy but if you don't mind <laughs> then go right ahead Once your candy begins to turn brown, that is when the cold water comes in. So what we're going to do is to go ahead and scoop some of the candy into the water. Make sure the water is nice and cold. 
what that will do is it'll bring the candy to room temperature and then you will know the true texture that it'll be as long as it is hot it is soft but once it becomes cold you know what the texture will be like So as you can see, it is a bit harder than it looks in the pan, but I want it to go just a little longer. And at this point, to my eyes is perfect so I know it's good to stop but for beginners you definitely want to do the water test one more time and always make sure your heat is on low when you're doing the water test and keep stirring so that it does not burn so let's see if it is where we want it to be it is just perfect so this will be nice and chewy if you allow this to go any darker it'll be hard so i've oiled a plate i'm going to go ahead and transfer this into the plate and i've also oiled my surface already please allow it to cool a little bit that your hand can handle and then begin to roll i'm giving my baby Gigi a try and as you can see it's so nice and soft that one is nice and cold but you can see it's very nice and chewy so i take it little by little and then i kind of baby it around play with it and i roll it please be careful because this can be very hot don't allow your babies to play with it while rolling if it is too big you can always divide it in half and roll any size that you can you can roll it on the surface if you like but i find that rolling it in my palm is the easiest and best way for me but you can do either or <laughs> International food captain who we'll show you how to make pizza, jala, mango and okra soup, sushi and pastries, all this and more. Sweet ajay, go go, go go, gawa, go sweet ajay, go go, go go, go go, gawa, go sweet ajay. Once you're done rolling it, it is time to cut it and just look how nice and beautiful it is. Now, if you made yours darker, which will turn out to be hard, you have to roll and cut at the same time because if you do what I just did, it may be too hard for you to cut. But as you can see, mine is still nice and soft and I'm still able to cut it. And I like to use a firm spatula to cut i don't like using a regular knife i even have a plastic knife that i like to use as well so try it and see which way works better and it is ready Gigi, what do you think it looks, it looks pretty so it's time to taste so Gigi, you try it and let us know the cake boss is gonna try it first It's good. just nice and chewy look at that just the way i like it store in an airtight jar or container and it should last you for up to a month after a while it may become crumbly that's when you know it is beginning to flat so you have to quickly enjoy it i'm packing these up for my baby to take home let me warn you this can be very addictive so you do not want to make this all the time thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi sweet mahabutu Bye, y'all.